Good morning, sir. You must have passed out. Yeah, I must have. <sighs> Sheila, report. System's looking normal. Everything seems to be in order. Great. Great. Sheila, can you run a bath? Yes, sir. I need time to think. This, this is, is ridiculous. ridiculous. Everything, Everything has, has gone, gone totally out of control. Sheila is now the oracle of some godforsaken God group of people called the council. council. It's so just too <laughs> insane. This is just too crazy. Hazard? I I'm sorry, Sheila. It's just this this plot is driving me insane. It's it's twists and turns. It's just confusing. Plot? And I have a feeling it's about to get weirder. You have been called to war by the next ghost to hide! Really? Not really! I'm just kidding, dude. Welcome to Space Monkey Mafia Studios. I'm here to give you the best and warmest welcome. What? Sit yourself and enjoy. Great to have you here. So one year ago, I started this little series, and now that I've seasoned myself slightly, I think it's time that I take on some of the big boys. So, what does whips, crystals, and Russians all have in common? And no, it's not Hoggins' normal Tuesday. That's right, it's Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. While being the supposed revival of the 1980s adventure series fronted by legendary director and producer Steven Spielberg and co-written by George Lucas, The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull was released in theaters in May of 2008 to anticipating audiences everywhere. Being a huge Jones fan myself, I was really interested in seeing how the film would allow Indy to continue being the swashbuckling hero of yesteryear, while leading man Harrison Ford was nearly 66 when the film was being shot. And let's not forget, the imperative Wilhelm scream used in every single Indiana Jones series. How would they handle that? And well, they handled it like this. Hey, We're going too fast. It's a matter of opinion. <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull was, how should I put this, clunky. The story just seemed out of place along with the concept of the artifact. The whole point of a Jones film is the mysticism in the artifact. And while the Crystal Skull in the real world is quite mystical, in the film world... I don't know whether to lick it, crack it open on the inside to see if there's more candy, or use it as curling practice. And let's not forget this. No more! God. But as we all know, I should be reviewing the Wilhelm. And today is another Lucas special. And what I've noticed from Lucas is that he either uses a close-up or action shot to accent the Wilhelm. Though, that usually means either he makes this happen... Vengeance is mine! Yeah! Power! Or this happen. Hey, going too fast! It's a matter of opinion! <laughs> but in Indy 4, we get a full frontal. Not only is it another idiot trying to imitate like the Wilhelm is his natural scream, but once again, there are several other choices where the Wilhelm could have been made besides this scene, which would have made much more sense. Serious, take a look at his face. Yeah, hilarious. And here's the sad part. This choice was made by none other than the Don of the Wilhelm, Ben Burt. I mean, really, Ben? 
I know it's kind of your staple and everything, but this... This is just... I mean, half the reasons I do these is because I want to, and it really upsets me when someone like Ben Burton would sign off on something like this. The man is clever. Well, maybe not clever, but he's definitely knew that something about this sound effect would take off. And look at where it is now, over 300 plus titles, and I, a ranter, solely focusing on it. Ben, this is some of your worst, and I've seen your best. If you can continue doing that instead of this, I'll totally still be on your side. Well, this is Hazard, signing out. Hazard, if you must know, I didn't want this either. Ever since you picked me up in episode 5, it's been really confusing. I know. It's only going to get worse from here, isn't it? I think so. Good day, Hazard. I am Continuity, and an administrator to the Universe Collision of Continuity. My job is to establish a love and a field of environments in various shows and universes. Unfortunately, you have not kept up to code in this area of the past year, and we are currently looking over your status as a valid part of the review community and the net. I think I need some fresh air, Sheila. How's the weather out there? It's pretty okay. It's calm. It's me, Bailey. I just want to welcome you and ask, how did you get this far? I mean, you keep failing your own continuity. Oh, Hazard Dude, yeah. Uh, welcome to uh, Space Monkey Mafia Studios. Uh, don't screw up. Goddamn hangnails. Hey, Hazard. Congratulations on being an actual reviewer in this community now. Welcome! Oh, hey, Hazard. Congratulations on making it this far. Hey Hazard, um, congratulations on becoming a recognized reviewer, even though I have a little familiar clue how the fuck you did that. Um, so yeah. Ah, a new subject for predatory testing! Welcome Hazard! I am Fire of the Mad Engineer! So you got a fourth wall device there. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who are you? Just a random hero. I showed up at the end of your fourth episode? Yeah. What are you doing here? Not much. Just passing through. See, that's a fourth wall device. What, this thing? Yeah. It basically allows you to connect to other people and other universes. And from what I heard, you got picked up by another verse. Oh, that thing. Listen, I don't have that much time. Just keep that thing close to you. It can help you in a pinch. And remember, you were the administrator. Who? I gotta go. Catch a lake. <sighs> How was the walk, sir? More or less okay. I lost communication from you for a few minutes. What was that? Oh, I uh, met Random Hero. Uh, me and him found this uh, device. I think it was called a fourth wall device. Wait, who? You know, Random Hero. He's that runny guy in episode four. Hazard, my sensors didn't pick anyone up there. My protocol has to decide over the substantial evidence against you. 
that I'm but a subsection of the law of the net, that unless you validate your existence in the next 24 hours, your universe will be wiped from the records of the net. Furthermore, I will personally observe you. What the hell? Really, another character with no backstory? Sheila, seriously, I. Yeah. <laughs>